Just six months ago, Summer Coco's car was the 18-year-old's refuge. Kind of make me cry. Surviving was her only focus, leaving no room for finishing high school. I'll just wake up, go to the bathroom, freshen up, go to work and then come back out and back into my car. Almost 46,000 young Queenslanders are homeless, lacking both resources and life experience. This young woman was also facing homelessness as she neared her 18th birthday, when she would have to leave the child safety system. I didn't have anywhere to go. Yeah, no one to support me. Both these young women are now residents of the Logan Youth Foyer Support Service, which pairs accommodation with teaching life skills to help them become independent. People under 25 can live at the foyer for up to three years. Data shows their time here makes them far less likely to become involved in the justice system, with the majority moving on to safe and stable housing. Particularly in the last couple of years, uh, we've just seen so many more young people who are facing homelessness. Claire Tortillo graduated high school while a resident. Now she's studying psychology, working as a youth worker, and has bought her own home. It showed me how resilient I am and acknowledged that what I went through was not okay and that there, there are people, good people in the world that are willing to help you and, you know, give you that push. And become the drivers of their own destiny. Meg Bolton, ABC News, Logan.